And right here, you can listen with me. This is a really big iron object. I'm quite sure that we have another rifle here. We're back on the Eastern Front. It has been a long drive and it has been a long time since I've been here, but I'm really happy to be back. We have some really good locations that we're gonna, gonna visit. And uh, I am with World War II Artifacts, the Dutch Relic Diggers and World War II Unknown. You can find them on Instagram. I'm gonna give this a shot and uh, see if we can discover some history. See what the first find. So we just uh, arrived at our first location of the day and uh, immediately we spot some foxholes over here, so Jeff is checking those out. I think it's time to uh, set up our equipment and uh, get started. And the first real signal of the day is from Ray. He shouted at me and he said, I think I have a rifle at the freaking surface. Look at this. Yeah, man, I think it's a Mauser K98K yep. rifle. The, this front piece is there still. Look at that, guys. You think it's in pieces? Is it complete? There, I see a part moving there as well. I'm gonna remove that a little bit. Okay, why don't you take it out? Whoa, look at that. <laughs> it's the remains of a Mauser K98K rifle. As you can see, the wood is gone. So this is the barrel. I think this is a long version, actually. Quite a long version, don't you think? Yeah. Trigger is still there. Can you see that? Look at that view. <laughs> so they would peek over the rifle like that and uh, fire it. Five rounds could be chambered here in the middle. That is a nice rifle, nice find man. There in the back you can see Rob is checking out the spot where Ray found the uh, K98K. And I just strolled a little bit further. And uh, right against this tree here, I had a very high pitched signal and I moved some dirt around and quite soon I saw this very nice uh, circular shape. And I already see some pattern on there. I think it's some sort of metal, but I guess we're gonna have to clean it up and uh, see what it is. I, I don't think it's a military metal, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's give this a brush, see what it is. Look at this. What do you see? Wow, man, look at that. There's a bear, and the bear is holding the eagle with the swastika. There's the year, year figure. Yeah, there's a year. There's two years there. This is some sort of special award, maybe for like a sport event or, I don't know, some memorial. And, what said that, and you can see the spin very clearly still at the back. All right, I think we just found it. Jeff did a quick Google search, and it's actually an NSDAP badge. Wow, so that's, yeah, I don't know, really iconic for that time frame, you know. Really a cool find. Right there is where I found the metal. And down here, I got a very, very deep signal, as you can see. And all the way down there, there's a cylindrical shape. So maybe it's a Panzerfaust, it's quite thick. But uh, let's dig that out and uh, see. Well, I got some reinforcements. Jeff is helping me out. This end is so loose. It's like June sand, it takes a while to get it out, but should be able to get there soon. You think it's a Panzerfaust? It's more than that way. That yeah? Oh, this is the end? Yeah, yeah I'm quite sure that's it's hollow. It must be a Panzerfaust. Let's excavate it a bit further. Yeah. Look at that condition. This is typical sand conditions, dune sand condition, there's almost no corrosion. The aiming mechanism there looks really pretty still. Usually it's all rotten, but it doesn't seem to be the case right now. What we're trying to figure out is if the head is still on it, if it's still armed. So let's figure that out. Yeah, there's definitely movement there. I don't think the head is on there. Nope, it's definitely fired. Look at this. The aiming mechanism is even still standing up. 
So it should be, if it's hollow, then it's definitely fired if the charge is gone. Wow, let's get a, let's get a brush. I've never found them with the aiming mechanism standing up like that, by the way. <laughs> yeah, very, very good condition. Nice condition. Yeah. I think this is all sand. I think it's a Panzerfaust 100, 100 meters range. It's completely brushed up and it's actually also hollow. You can look through it. So this one has definitely been fired. The German Panzerfaust was an extremely effective anti-tank weapon used by infantry soldiers. The effective range varied from 30 to 100 meters based on the type. Millions were produced from 1943 to 1945. It fired a single recoilless shot using a high explosive anti-tank warhead. Right, time to close this hole back up. Part of the job, guys. More and more of us starting to find very interesting relics and Rob just told me that he found a ring and he's about to show me. Silver you said, right? I think so, yeah. It's an old one. Wow, look at that. Pretty one indeed with a gem still in it. Yeah. Could be silver indeed. Great stuff, man. The guys found a small dump pit and uh, some glass and porcelain came out. They just pulled out that object right there and we are quite sure that that it is a barrel of a, of a rifle of some sort but we've never seen this type before maybe it's a it's a soviet gun yeah look at this look at this mechanism this it must be some sort of gun for sure but we are quite familiar with all of the world war ii weaponry but we don't directly know what this is that right there is the uh, is the dump that we found with that uh, weird gun Right next to it is actually another dump that Jeff is uh, working on. And I got a signal right here. Look at what I just found here. It's a pocket knife and I think it has bakelite grips. There's also a mark on there. But that is a really nice one. Usually they're all rusted away, but I think that's really pretty. Second day, brand new day of detecting. And uh, we just arrived at a new location. Keeping our eyes peeled for foxholes and all of that. And. Uh, Basically looking for a nice spot to start. So, uh, new day, new energy. Let's get going. That's my buddy Rob. I just called him over because um, I'm digging in this very neat foxhole and I got some weak signals. So I was listening very carefully, moving my detector around really slowly. So I got some cracks here and decided to start digging because you know, it's an interesting spot, foxhole. So I put my shovel in the ground and look, but what I see here, this is not metal, this is Bakelite, and to be precise, this is a drinking cup, a German drinking cup, which would have been placed on the canteen. And it's probably marked, we can clean it up. Here already you can see some stuff, but it's unbroken. I'm really happy I didn't damage yeah. it. All right, I think that Rob just discovered a pocket knife. I think I'm on the gun. Is there markings on there? Yeah, an iron cross. Jeez, you're, yeah, you you're right. Yeah, no, yeah, I see turn it. Turn it around. Uh, maybe this is uh, this is a person. A person? Yeah. Let me see. I think you are right. Yeah. Then we need to clean it up a little bit, guys, and see if we can find out more. But look at what is on there. You can see a German Iron Cross. It says 1914. It says Zur Erinnerung an die Größe Zeit. And then it says, I think 1914 to 19. What is that? 18. It's a remembrance of the yeah, great time and then the first world war period, it says it here. And look on the other side, it has a freaking image of Hindenburg that was the emperor before Hitler. It has his name written out there as well. So this must be some memorial knife carried by a soldier that has fought in the first world war, guys. And we are metal detecting here, enforced with a lot of World War II activity. Don't get me wrong, there was no World War I here. This is purely World War II, so this means that there there's been some veteran soldiers here with this knife, possibly Volkssturm. Yeah. That would be my guess. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, this is, this is a really crazy find, man. I've never seen anything like this before. I'm on the move again. It's Jeff that, well, he shouted at me and said that he thought he found a weapon part. So what, uh, is that like a bolt or something? Then there's a spring in there, it seems. I found one of those in this area in the past as well. And that was a bolt of a Soviet PPD-40. Uh, this, this definitely looks different, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's from a PPSH. I mean, it's quite rusted, but you do clearly see some some pattern, some like this slit here. There's Maybe this, this is even a slit. Exactly, slit yeah, yeah. It, probably the bolt was here to, uh, you know, to, to, to chamber the, the round, let's say. I just discovered it's quite a tiny relic. You can see it right over here. Now that is a very recognizable symbol, isn't it? It's a Soviet star. Um, it's quite a tiny button, and I don't think it's uh, from the DDR era. Look at the back side. I'm quite sure that this is a uh, World War II, a Soviet World War II uniform button. I'll probably have a better look around here before I uh, walk off again. As you can see, everyone is gathered up again, and Ray even already packed his bag because he was fed up because he didn't find anything. Um, I didn't want to give up, and uh, that is going to pay off real soon. I got a very loud iron signal, but this was such a loud signal that I thought, let's see what this is. And as you can see, this is a really big iron object and it's quite long. <laughs> you can see the ground move there. So I'm quite sure that this is a Mauser K98K rifle, the second of this trip. So uh, let's do this excavation together. It's going to be a nice one. You think the bolt is still there? Yes, over here. You're right, man. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And usually we find them without the bolts because they like they deactivated the rifles with that, made them harmless, basically. But the bolt, we can see that part is still there. Wow. I've never found them with bolts, so that is already a first one for me, I can tell you that. Trigger mechanism is broken, though, here. You see that? This part, the front piece is also still there. It's moving even. See that? There comes the last bit. It's totally not deep. It's only like three centimeters under the mast. They just threw this here, discarded it. Probably they were on the run, these German soldiers for the Soviets that were advancing with big numbers. Yeah, this is all still there, guys. See that? Let me brush that up a little bit. Well, I think we can take it out now. Well, it's not bad. It's not a bad version. Like I said, the ball is still there. It's still standing in the upward position. They would move it like this and then backwards, chamber another round like that. That's where we just found that K98K rifle. And right here, you can listen with me. It's a very loud iron signal, quite a big signal as well. So I'll, I already put my shovel here. Look what happens. See that, see that soil moving there all the way in the back? I'm quite sure that we have another rifle here. All right, let's see what we can discover here. Yeah, there's something here. Yeah, look at that. That is the uh, barrel end. Let's, let's expose it a little bit. This is this metal. Yeah, this part is broken. Let's expose this. 
I'm wondering if this one also has the bolt still. It has the front piece at least. Well, guys, this is a genuine weapon stash that we uncovered here. <laughs> we would have expected that. I love these uh, World War II surprises and learning about what happened in the area, you know. That's really valuable history that you cannot just read in books. Yes, I think, the, is that the bolt? No, no, no. No bolt? I think the bolt is gone. This is quite wrecked. Aiming mag the, the magazine part here. Second rifle, well, third rifle of the trip, actually. Very nice one. All right, just to show you that there is where our bags are, where we found those rifles. And on the other side of this forest trail, I had another similar iron signal and I just pulled this out. And this is a part of the K98K barrel, I mean, you can clearly still see this part here, you know, where they would look over and fire the rifle. So this is a broken off barrel. It's hollow here as well. Very weird to find it broken up like this. And there you go. That's not a bad overview shot, right? Two and a half rifles. Well, that was it from our side. We are packing up our stuff. We were uh, very lucky to be able to uh, go out again. Big thank you to all of my patrons who helped support the channel. Don't forget to check out my Patreon if you want to have an exclusive look behind the scenes and support us while you're at it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.